So let's talk about integration procedure today. We are we are exploring loop block of integration procedure uh, element. Um, we have seen there are most of the scenarios where we wanted to repeat a step and if your input item as an array. So the most of typical scenarios which are coming if you wanted to add multiple products then we have to call multiple time remote methods but right now add to cart is also providing to uh, give um, item id as a multiple price book entry id but yeah this can be also used and uh, if you wanted to add index number uh, and that's kind of scenario which is coming so i'll give you one scenario right now let's say i have input as a contact to me and, uh, and that's having name multiple uh, list multiple array and what i wanted to do i wanted to add line number or let's say i wanted to add uh, you know how array number or let's say contact number something like this this is or let's say the most common scenarios come serial number sr no that's the most mostly people are using nowadays okay so if you wanted to use this is the first number this is the second number and then we can utilize for in your flex card or anything so to achieve this uh, what we are going to do we will be using we will be creating one IP IP we will set one counter we will understand in loop method inputs what are the inputs will be required for loop methods uh, we will use one of the DR that will be transform so that we can send this counter value to dr and then we'll see what will be the outcome so let's go to our next step normally loop block proper loop block properties are loop list which is requiring a JSON node which contains an array and uh, loop output output which I'll be talking about in in the next section of the video so what I'm going to do I am putting a set value let's put the name of this thing set counter I'll be making count and then I'll be putting as a zero value. I'll be putting this count and response node as a count one. Just changing this node to count one. Then what I'll do, I'll go to group component of uh, integration procedure. This is my loop block. So this is loop block element iterate node now what it does it iterate through the loop list loop list is the one of the input so we need to provide what is the loop list for this input for this particular um, loop block so let's go back to our this input if you see the input is this we are sending this as input so this will be our array which is in part of uh, loop input so we'll go back we'll keep as a context will be loop input now what i'm going to do i am going to take my set where is set 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 
set value I will put a set value here so that whatever input is coming from set counter I need to take that value and increase it that value okay element name is counter input to the counter let's do this thing what I'll do whatever the input value is coming that coming as a count one I'm adding that as a one so the value will be increased with the one this value is coming from here count one it going to inside the loop so every time when this loop will iterate it will increase the count value and in the response path I am just making this as an account to count one so that every time the response will increase and this will be input to this parameter the first time it will come from here and the next time in this loop it will rotate so this will give me now I will go data transform include the data transform action I will add, add index number this is I have already created I will show you what it looks like it's giving me input so what it's doing it's the name first name is coming and these are all parameters which I am going to map it only the count one which is coming from integration procedure that I am putting as a let's say line number in spite of this we will keep it as a serial number now we will go back to our demo we have also talked about if we wanted to get some loop output so what I will do I will take this data transform value as a output from this loop so that we can see that what are the values are coming from this loop now we will ch we will go in the response section and we will take the iterate node and data option and data raptor action 2 is an output so let me copy this and then let's go response action we will rather putting full data digestion action we will put as an this is an action now let's see now let's go to our input parameter this was our input parameter let's say this is two parameter which is coming if we'll execute if you see first serial number is coming one serial number is coming two if we will increase it then let's say this is June so this will be coming serial number one serial number two serial number three so this is the way which we can in take the index of array and we can increase it there are other ways as well so if you see the execution sequence and your uh, iteration node or in the loop there is a loop block iteration index we can use this loop blocks iteration index to pass on to our data raptor so this also we can do so uh, iteration number can be passed to dr 